dad. Why don't you use the electric razor we got you for Father's Day? Jack, you mind if I drop a little bit of uh, dad knowledge on you? Sure. There's only two ways to go through life, and both of them are similar to the two choices a man has when he shaves. You following me? Nope. Well, you should, because this might be the best piece of advice that I ever give you. I don't know, Dad. Getting food out of your teeth with a business card was pretty solid advice. One of the ways is an electric razor. It's quick, but it only sort of gets the job done, and ultimately it's not very satisfying. Hey. Sorry. The other way is a handheld razor. It's not quick. It's slow, in fact, but it takes time to get through all the nooks and crannies of a man's face. But the end result is very satisfying. You understand? Yeah, sure, Dad. Good. Because that might be the secret to life. Doing things the easy way is always going to be less satisfying. Got it. I think I'm going to give it a try. You got some pubes on your face, my guy? You're so weird, Dad. Well, Jack, we're all weird. Some people are just better hiding it than others. Me? I let my freak flag fly, brother. Great. What is it? No time for questions. Jack, I need you to crab shuffle as fast as you can out of the bathroom and into your bedroom. What's a crab shuffle? You know, when you drop low to the ground but you still stay on your feet, okay? Wait, why don't we just crawl? Keep some of your dignity. We're gonna go on three. One, two. What happened to three? Those people never give up. Who never gives up? Charlie, listen, there's some people at the door that I don't wanna talk to, okay? And if they hear us, they're never gonna leave. So if you could hold off on playing that thing, I'd appreciate it, okay? Who's at the door? It's just some people trying to sell me something that I don't want. What are they selling? Religion. Charlie, will you knock it off, okay? If they hear us, they're never gonna leave. Can I check it out? Okay, but you gotta be quiet. Why won't they leave? We're not home. Yes, we are. Yeah, but they don't know that. Did you do that? I'm right here. Hide right here. Oh no, they're coming through the back. Guys, I love you so much. I'm sorry for all the bad stuff I've ever said to you. I love you too, Dad. And I'm sorry for that time I sold all your old comic books at school to get AirPods. What? No time, Dad. We have got to get that door fixed. What's this music? Charlie, go turn that thing off. Who's that? It's people selling us stuff we don't want. Mark, what's going on here? It's this guy, he's out front, he's in a suit, he might be from the church, I don't know, he's got a kid with some cookies. That's what's going on here? He won't go away! Jeez! Exactly. Hi. Hi, miss, how's your day going? Not bad, you? Great, great. Th thanks for asking. Hey, can we interest you in a free... No! Hmm. Thank you. Actually, can I give you a piece of advice? You come to someone's house and no one answers the door after, say, one to two minutes, that usually means a couple of things. One, nobody's home. Or two, no one wants to talk to you.
Oh, we're giving away free samples. We're selling Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, I'm taking pre-orders. You're selling Girl Scout cookies? Yeah. We'll take three boxes. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> great job. Cookies. Not religion. I guess you should have taken your time, hmm? Before the rush to judgment. All I wanted to do was shave. <laughs>